Hi everyone, welcome back to the Crafty Author um, for Sewing Talk Tuesday. This week we're going to do something a little bit different for Sewing Talk Tuesday. I am actually going to be doing a tutorial on how to make the bandana bibs. All right, so I have gone ahead and cut the pieces that I am going to be using. I am going to use this arrowed up fabric and this panda fabric that I have just hanging out in my stash. Um, it is flannel, both pieces are flannel. And all I'm going to do is take this triangle ruler that I have and it is 12 by 12. And all I do is I just place it down on my fabric. And then what I do is I take a marker. Doesn't have to be a special marker or anything like that. You're gonna find that out because it's gonna get hidden when we go to sew this. So I just trace the triangle with my pen. And then I just pull it up like so. And you can see that my tri you could see the lines from my triangle here. Okay. And now all I'm going to do is take my rotary cutter and I am going to just use my straight ruler for this. I'm using my long one as you can see with my rotary cutter. And I just cut on the lines that I've just drawn. Be very careful when you're spinning because you can move your fabrics. That's why I like to put both hands down when I'm doing this. I'm going to have plenty of leftover. So, and an important tip before you start doing this you will want to iron the fabric first. So I did do that before I traced it out and started cutting. Okay, and now we're ready to sew our baby bib together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these right sides together because that's how I pressed them or cut them, was right sides together. And I am going to go to the sewing machine and I am going to start sewing. I like to leave the opening on the side. So what I will do is I will start here. I'll mark a pin so that you guys can see right where I'm talking about. So I'm going to start here where my pin is. And I'm going to sew all the way around my triangle until I get to about here and then I'm going to leave that opening there and that's how we're going to turn this inside out. So I'm going to go do that and I will be right back. Alright so I'm coming up to my next corner and then I'm going to stop where my pin is. and then I'm going to back stitch and you want to back stitch because if you don't then you could quite possibly tear it rip your fabric while you're while you're flipping it inside out and that's it so we've already gone ahead and done that and then I like to clip the corners so I'm going to go ahead and do that And then I like to also give it just a little clipping around the edge of where I'm going to 
do this I just snip right next to where the where I sewed but I don't get I don't get too close to it that just helps to turn it when we're turning this inside out so I'm going to go ahead and finish clipping and I got a new camera so I'm learning how to use that so I hope that the quality is better for you and um, but it is a learning curve it's a huge learning curve for me so all right now it's time to turn this inside out and so that's what I'm gonna do and all I do is just take my hand in here and I just find one end and I just kind of pull it out and then I just work my way around and pull the rest of this out. I try to poke the points out as best as I can. As I go along, it just makes it a little bit easier. But I can't always get it. And then I use this wonderful chopstick that I have had for years. You've seen me use this on many bags. And it does the trick and it also works for baby bibs. Or these little bandana bibs. You want to be careful not to tear your fabric while you're poking. I'm sorry, I'm sitting here not showing you. <laughs> it's kind of hard sometimes when you're trying to poke things out. So I'm just using my little chopstick to, and I like to run it along the seam line on the inside because it helps to poke it out. Come on camera. Focus. My goodness. Okay, so now we have this all done. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to press this, push the seams this direction towards myself and then I'm gonna push it out. And what this does is it helps your seam to lay flat, especially when you go to sew it. Now this part, I will have to fold in, but let's do this first. Let's roll these seams back, and I'm just pulling them back. So the back is like sticking up when I'm doing this, running this with my finger, along my fingers here. And then when you push it down, it's nice and smooth and nice and flat. And then you don't have it showing through on the front side or the back side. It'll help when you go to sew it to lay nice and neat. Okay, so now I've got this part folded. I went ahead and folded this edge, which was opened. And I'm gonna go press this and then we'll sew it together. All right, so we're just about getting around to being finished with this. We're closing up the edge where we turned the bib. And to turn this just a little bit so if you're using an overlocking foot with your sewing machine you'll want to be careful around the corners if you're using a surging machine it's going to be a whole lot easier To where we started, lock in our stitches, cut our threads, and we're done.
and you can see the stitches right there. Okay, so now we're going to apply the snaps. Now, the snaps that I use are the cam snaps. I do not get paid for using their products. Um, I purchased them with my own money, but I absolutely love their stuff. So I'm using their cam snaps, and I'm using the cam snap uh, press that I purchased. And so I'm going to show you how this works. All right, so I'm going to take my awl. This is very, very sharp. So... If you're using one of these, you want to be very careful. I've actually stuck one through my finger. It hurts. So I'm going to just go ahead and think about where I want to place this bib. And I'm going to go ahead and, or I'm sorry, this snap. So I'm just going to go ahead and poke a hole there. And I'm going to take one of the little plastic caps. If I can hold on to it. Focus. Looks like that. I'm going to take one of the female snaps, I think, whichever one's in here. Got to think. So these just go into this die here. I've shown you this before. Um, and it snaps in. but it's not the right one. So I think it's, yeah, this is the right one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one. They screw off. So this is for the female, and the other one is for the male, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do the females first. And all I'm going to do is place this little cap in my fabric, like so, and then set it down in that die that's got a spot for it, and then just press. And we have our first snap installed. And you can see the back. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add them to the other side now too. So I'm just going to use my awl. I am going to put think the males in now we're done with the female I don't know why I grabbed two of those but we just only need one sorry one male now we're doing the females <clears throat> confusing myself all right and this one just pops in like so just snaps right in there I'm just going to put this on. I'm going to stick that back in underneath the die. I'm going to give it a good press. And our other snap is on. And that's what it looks like. It looks very professional. <clears throat> Excuse me, very professional, which is what I really like about this. All right, so our bib is done. And this is what we have. It turned out very, very cute. Um, unfortunately for me, I put one of the snaps on backwards. <laughs> it's really not hard to do, so you have to pay attention. Um, but as you can see, snaps right into place. If the baby grows, there's another part for it to snap. So this is what it looks like. It's also reversible. 
So if you don't want to look at that side of the pandas and you've got this side. Super cute, really easy to do. Honestly, the hardest part is getting the snaps on correctly. <laughs> at least it seems to be for me. So anyway, that is it for today for Sewing Talk Tuesday. And um, that's really, we're just gonna do projects, I think on Tuesdays, maybe once in a while I'll stop and talk. But um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I just realized it's upside down because I sewed it upside down. So if you're, this is, I mean, this is a practice run. I'm just showing you how to make one of these. But if you were going to actually give this to somebody, you might, might want to make sure that the fabric is directional. So it's going in the right direction. I'm not worried about this. Um, this is probably just going to go in a pile to for something for my grandson to play with honestly so or for a little girl um, so I'm not worried about that but you might want to be mindful of it if you're gonna make it for somebody anyway that is it if you'd like to follow me on social media the links are down below in the description box don't forget to like and subscribe um, when you subscribe to my channel and you like it it helps my video to get seen more and it allows me to bring in more great projects for you guys. So that's all I've got. Keep on crafting. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.